Congressman Dingell is 86 years old. He is in his 30th term in Congress. And a few months into this term for him, in June of this year, he will become the longest serving member of Congress in American history. Nobody since the dawn of the Republic will have served, served as much time in Congress as John Dingell as of this June. John Dingell is a Democrat. He has been his entire career, as far as I know. Uh, he's also a staunch proponent of gun rights. He is a former board member of the National Rifle Association. Now, what's going on in this photo from the vice president's office today is that John Dingell is speaking to this whole group of cabinet officials and the vice president himself and his fellow House Democrats. And he is speaking to them as one of the 12 vice chairmen of the Democrats' gun violence prevention task force in the House. This group was set up by Nancy Pelosi last month to be the voice of congressional Democrats on reform. And it tells you something about the diversity of the Democratic Party on this issue, right? To be able to have a Nancy Pelosi, who has the exact position on guns that you think she has, uh, to have a Nancy Pelosi drafting leadership help on this issue from, among others, John Dingell, a former board member of the NRA, a former A-plus rated NRA legislator. But for all of Congressman Dingell's NRA bona fides, if you think that that is the only thing worth knowing about him and the issue of guns, you are missing a big part of the picture. Six days after the Newtown shootings last month, Congressman Dingell's wife, Debbie Dingell, published a very personal op-ed in the Washington Post. And this is how it opens up. This is the very first line of the op-ed. When I was about to start eighth grade, my father almost shot my mother. It was another of their many ugly fights. I got between them, literally, and tried to grab the gun. I will never forget that night, the shouting, the fear, the raw terror that we all would die, my brother and my sisters along with my parents. My calling for help, but the police not coming. My parents were important people in town. My mother running out of the house. I locked my brothers and sisters in a bedroom and pushed a bed against the door. My father broke in, took the door off the hinges and pulled the phone from the wall. He took the knobs off all the doors so we could not get out and no one could get in. We survived that occasion physically. Emotionally, I am not so sure. She goes on to say, I don't have all the answers, but I know two things. Decades later, I still fear the fear of that night when I was 12 years old. And while ordinary Americans do not need access to assault weapons, I also know that banning all guns won't fix the problem. We need a new dialogue that does not pit people against each other. That's Congressman Dingell's wife, Debbie Dingell reflecting on her harrowing experience as a child and how that informs her family's thinking on this issue. It's a complex issue and there's complex thinking about this issue.